Hi there, I'm Dr. Patty Havey, Senior Medical Advisor at Premom. Basal body temperature tracking is a way to identify when you've ovulated and confirm that you have ovulated in the last cycle. The basis for basal body temperature is, or BBT tracking, is identifying the increase in a hormone called progesterone that occurs after successful ovulation. Progesterone actually raises your basal body temperature a half to about an entire degree Fahrenheit after ovulation. When this thermal shift is present, it indicates that sufficient levels of progesterone were produced and they help confirm that you actually ovulated. You really won't have these elevated levels of progesterone unless you truly successfully ovulate. Smart apps like Premom can use this information to help predict when your next month's ovulation will occur. BBT is quite simple once you get the hang of it, but there are some key do's and don'ts that will ensure you have better success with temperature tracking to get to know your cycles and to get to know your fertility most importantly. For starters, don't take your temperature sporadically or only around ovulation. You don't necessarily have to take it during your period, but if you have a long period, it's best to start testing your BBT about five days into your period. Do take your BBT daily. That's right, every single day. The reason being that we look for six consecutive low temperatures followed by three consecutive high temperatures in order to confirm ovulation. If you aren't testing every day throughout the cycle, it means that you could miss this key shift and it doesn't allow us to assign something called the cover line to your chart, which is again, separating those highs from the lows. Do take your BBT immediately upon waking. Your basal body temperature is your body's lowest temperature at rest. When you begin to move or out and about, it increases your body temperature and it doesn't let us get an accurate picture of your body temperature at rest. It's only in these resting states that we can really see the impact that sex hormones um, fluctuating can have on your BBT. Don't eat or drink before taking your BBT. Cold water, hot coffee, even gum can all throw off your BBT. Because we want to get an accurate snapshot, um, stick that thermometer in your mouth in the morning, bad breath and all. Do take it at the same time every day. It's best to set that alarm clock and take your BBT at the same time every day. When you wake up daily at 6 a.m., but not until 11 a.m. on the weekends, it can cause a variance to your temperature readings. So it really is best to keep it consistent within an hour or two of when you normally wake up. Don't talk or get up before taking your BBT. Remember, we want this temperature at rest. Talking can cause a cooling effect and potentially lower your oral temperature reading. Moving, walking, even if it's just to the bathroom could begin to alter your body temperature. So again, it's best to take that temperature before you move a muscle. Stay in bed a few minutes longer. Do use a special thermometer meant only for BBT. Don't use a regular thermometer for BBT. Basal body temperature thermometers extend an extra decimal place, which gives you a more precise temperature reading. And these little changes actually really matter. A standard oral thermometer for when you are sick will simply not do for this case. Premom actually has a smart Bluetooth enabled thermometer from Easy at Home that automatically syncs with your phone and your Premom app. So you don't have to worry about writing it down manually or inputting numbers. It just automatically logs those numbers for you. And as a doctor, I see a huge improvement in compliance and success when my patients utilize this as a tool. Do use your BBT in conjunction with the Premom app to synchronize and chart your temperature. Paper charting just leaves too much room for human error and takes a while to get used to. Premom smart technology removes the guesswork for you. It graphs your temperatures and actually helps to um, predict your ovulation and identify that cover line we talked about earlier, separating the uh, low pre-ovulatory from the high post-ovulatory temperatures. Don't focus on any one individual temperature, but rather the trend. This is the cover line. It's the trend that matters. Our key takeaway is low pre-ovulatory temperatures versus high post-ovulatory temperatures. This is why tracking daily and throughout your entire cycle is essential. Do you get at least three hours of sleep before you take your temperature? Sorry for new moms, but you'll need three hours of consecutive sleep before waking to take your BBT. 
This allows your body to fully rest and get an accurate reading. So if breastfeeding with a newborn, take extra caution if using BBT to avoid pregnancy as you do need consolidated sleep for accuracy with BBT. Do turn on the BBT reminder in your Premom app. Premom makes it super easy to remember to take your temperature. Just set that reminder and it will remind you every single day. For those trying to avoid pregnancy, BBT can actually be a super helpful tip. Um, the BBT spike after ovulation actually indicates the end of the fertile period, so many women use BBT for this sole purpose. Basal body temperature tracking has been around for a long time and for good reason. It's easy, it's inexpensive, and it gives women tons of information about their bodies, especially when you take advantage of smart technology with an easy at home Bluetooth thermometer that syncs directly into that premium app. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Please like this video if you enjoyed it to support our women run business. We always appreciate you sharing this with friends and family. You can follow us for more tips and tricks about all things fertility and leave any questions you may have below.